Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as the Oirat Horde. Okay, so we are now uh, just waiting along for our truce with the uh, Ayutians to uh, go away and once that is away, we can go ahead and declare war on them and then we will be able to vassalize them because we have reduced them to the proper amount of territory. So, why don't we just speed up the game and quite literally just sit around and wait for that. Uh, Maybe, you know, kill some rebels while we wait. I mean, we have to do something. Can't just sit around and do nothing. That's a little extreme, I think. And a rebel kill. Oh, my military rebel died and I have my colony damaged. Okay. Get ourselves a free leader and put him... I don't know where I'm going to put him. How long... Yeah, no, this colony is soon to finish. Do I have... Yeah, I have, a col I have a colonist there, so that should, you know, that should work out. Where do I have colonists now, anyways? They're in there. Oh, really? I only have two colonies. That's a little weak, don't you think? Yeah, look at that. Two, only two. We can afford a lot more than that. Let's go ahead and uh, take this colonist back and see if we can find ourselves some new colonies. To get... Uh, I'm thinking... I don't know. Should we just keep working on this area? Oh, no, that's a level four. I don't want that. Oh, well, wow, five? Holy shit, those promises are valuable. I don't want them valuable provinces, I want the ones that are not so good, like this one. Two, that's perfect. Because the ones that have like base tax of four, they are so expensive to core, and I don't want to spend my points. Not until I have to. Hey, we gained a core province though, that's good. Oh, I gained a core or something that I don't want, and I... Um... Wow, this game is like... Let I should just rename this Let's Play to Let's Play, Get Claims and Everything. Oh. Uh, Poland is now the controller, that wouldn't surprise me as they're pretty much a superpower at this point. I can't see uh, all of Europe yet, but from, from what I can see, the uh, Polish look uh, rather powerful, to say the least. Um, got another dumb claim. Hey! Burst of Administrative... Wow, that's... I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever gotten a positive event for administrative points um, in this game so far. And that allows us to do another idea. So let's go in and do Patron of the Arts. Quite a very bad idea, but it does make it so that it's a, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. We will then soon be able to um, to get more stuff that actually matter. I what? No 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 no. I'm not gonna have any of this. What the fuck? What is this war about? That's war. Attacker. Succession war. What? Okay, that's interesting to see. Hopefully that is not going to mess up my plans. Free money or trade income. No, I want the power. I have money. Ooh, I can do more idea. Nope, I cannot. Only that useless thing that I don't want, so... oh, we have colonies. Colonist, fuck. Oh, we need to create a core here. Let's do that. And let's send the next guy down here. Finish up this area. And then we're pretty much secure, there's no other provinces then that, um... Ooh, we converted someone. Yay! Let's convert some more people. How about you? You want to be converted? Yeah, you do want to get converted. Let's put our guy over there. So just to make them chill down a little bit. Oh, free manpower. Yeah, good start, good start. So far things are going very nicely. And now we have some rebels, of course. They rise up in, like, a place that I have, like, no troops, but that's fine. We can deal with them. It's just gonna take a while. Hey, another core province. Good, Taiwan is now a core. A Mongol Buddhist core. Uh, this is a... Yeah, that has some revoltaries now, but if they rise, then we have no problem about that. Oh, national... Okay. Oh, Lana has entered. Okay, that's fine. If they wanna do that, then they can do that. I'm not afraid. I am hungry for rebel blood. Oh, crap. No guy. Wow, they're all just blobbing right now. Hmm. And no guy might actually be a threat, because I have a lot of provinces over here that are poorly defended. They're fighting someone at the moment, though, so they sh shouldn't be a too much of a problem. And I, do I... I don't have any troops up here. I do have these guys, but they need to stand over there to keep the Muslims from revolting. I guess I can... I don't know. What should I... What should I do? I guess I should move some forces up there, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Get some guys over there and recruit some... Um, Recruit some locals as well. Like that. Seems like a good idea. Okay, good. They can try and defend these provinces from no guy. Especially the colony. I don't want that one to die. 
Ooh, you get more uh, military technology. Yay! Good stuff. When is the truce going to run out? Oh, oh whoa, whoa, I don't have any truce anymore. Well, <laughs> that was that was fast. Oh, uh, so there we go. We no longer have a, we no longer have any truce against these guys. So now we can just declare war on them freely. So let's do that. Show superiority. Yeah, no guy. That stuff happens. Okay, land maintenance. Gonna go and increase that, and then we'll occupy and conquer and stuff. And yeah. And, oh. What? Why? What the fuck is? Why the fuck is Ayutthaya not the war leader? Why the? F okay. Wait, this is. What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck, game? What the fuck? The hell is this? Seriously, I'm not kidding here. What the actual serious? I'm not even kidding. Fuck is this for some serious bullshit? The fucking um, I can't vassalize them now because the sh fucking absolute retards of Sean. Oh my god. What the fuck game? Okay, this is like I have I have been I like I I recognize that this, this game has some bad stuff. So far, this is an amazing game, but this is pure bullshit. This is the purest bullshit that I've gotten for this game, like ever. I've never experienced more bullshit than this. There's no excuse for this crap. I went to war purely for one reason. I'm not now. I'm not even allowed to do it. Can I do a separate piece? No, I can't. Because they're a member of a coalition, and that, for some reason, makes it so that I can't make separate peace treaties with them. Fuck you, game. Seriously, fuck your piece of shit. I shouldn't be raging like this. This is not, not good for the camera or the recording software. You get the idea. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my rage out on the Sean. I think they're gonna pay for this shit. They will die. I'm gonna make them suffer a horrible death. I'm gonna weaken them to a point where they will never ever be again be allowed to lead any sort of wars. You get over here, you shites. Never too much grain, I guess. I don't even care if they siege my provinces. Seriously, why would I? I care for one thing only, and that is killing them. And, uh, yeah, I totally didn't think about the fact that these guys, the no guy is now going to send troops to in my direction, aren't they? Yeah, I, I approve of the coalition function, but I really feel like they should do some, they should different, they, they should change it up a little bit. Um, like, I don't think you should get truces with coalition members, seriously, there's, I, because this is really fucking up my expansion, like, if I want to take, like, this province and then do another war to take this province, I would have to wait, wait five years because they are both in the coalition and that gives me truces with literally everyone. So I'm not allowed to do anything. Oh my god, this is so dumb. So fucking stupid. I guess we have to weaken Sean then until the point where they no longer can recognize themselves as anything... Anything but shitty. Oh, fuck. What? Did I fund my troops? I did. I'm, this is my boats that are not funded. Come on, did I really just lose that? Now these guys are going to move. Oh my god, I'm frustrated right, right, right now. Just want to destroy the... F oh my god. Just want to... Just rage quit right now, seriously. This is frustrating me more than anything. If I had been playing single player here, I would most likely have just reloaded the save and tried if uh, tried to see if I could if there is a way that I could have avoided this crap. From what I know, though, there is no such thing. So I'm stuck just having to sit around here, and being being sad and not feeling good. Just one one thing to do as well. Oh, why are these guys not in the war? They're in the coalition, but they, I guess they just didn't feel like joining. I don't know what that's all about. I thought you didn't have a choice. Thought you pretty much had to um, join the coalition. They're just going away. That's fine. If they want to do that, then that's fine by me. Increase decentralization. Uh, less revolt risk. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not gonna accept anything that loses power. I, have, uh, I believe we have already. Most people are already know how that works. Oh fuck! Really now? Now I have to fight your rebels? 
I'm not gonna do that. Can I just get out of this dumb war? It's quite obvious that I'm not gonna be gaining anything from it. I guess I shouldn't be giving up this fast. I should actually try and fight the war, but all oh my guys are now running home to over this province again. Ay, 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 ay. This is bullshit! If anybody of you guys know what I can do to fix this bug or problem or bullshit, then please leave it in the comments, because I... I would like to know that, because I... I... I don't accept this. Not at all. No way I'm gonna come around and accept this crap. I demand that you patch your game, Paradox. I know you're known for having sort of a buggy game whenever you release the game, but this is just so bad. Like, Sean is not a threat, it's the rebels that is a threat. And the fact that they have... they are capable of just running away like no one's business. But I caught them though. Like, who came up with the... who came up with the decision that you cannot... Cannot negotiate with, uh, like, miners in the coalition. Hindu zealots, get away! I need to put a general in here. I was going to strengthen the army and I need to kill all the rebels. Wow. It's pathetic. I have to kill off the rebels of my own enemies. That's so sad. As if this, as if this wasn't sad enough. I wish the rebels could just... Force, enforce their demands or whatever. But I guess they're not smart enough to do that. Maybe they don't... I don't know. Maybe there's some stupid demand for them to do it. At least they shouldn't be... At, they shouldn't be attacking my promises if they understood things. Yeah, let's get some more base tags. That sounds fun. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves base tags. Uh, ooh! I have guns now, is that so? Okay, that's pretty cool. Guns. Sweet. Oh, I have troops here that I need to be put to use. Kill off those Chogdai men. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Now let's go deal with Sean again, I think. Kill those fuckers. Stair stamps. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna let all my rage go out on the Sean right now. I'm gonna destroy them. I'm gonna raid them. I'm gonna destroy... Everything they ever had and ever will have. I will salt the earth to prevent any anything ever from our rising up from the ruins. Mevar, are we fighting? Okay, I guess we are. Yeah, you joined the you you did join the coalition at some point, didn't you? Fair enough. I guess I need to kill you as well then. Uh, no or not. If you here we go. Oh come on, really now? Why are you even helping these guys? I know you're afraid of me and shit, but seriously. Why are you helping Sean? What are you going to gain from this? What are you going to gain? No, you stay there. Stupid game. Let's go back, and you go there, and you go fuck yourself. I guess now I just have to now I have to wait another five years in order to try again to vassalize them. So ridiculous. And of course I lost. And once again, yeah, I, I should just gather up these troops. They, uh, for some reason, all troops. Whenever my troops retreat, they always retreat to that one province. Damn, this is slowing down my expansion. It's gonna make it make my empire smaller by the end of the game. I don't like that. I really do not like that at all. Oh. Disorder? No, no, no. I don't want no disorder in my nation. I will have order. And justice in the way that I feel like it should be conducted. Uh, okay, you guys need to go down there, you guys need to go kill them, we've gained a core province, how nice. We're, we're not missionizing anything, we need to make sure we do that. This one would be, would be nice, I guess. Let's see if there's any other good ones. 
Oh, oh that's gonna... Oh, it's 11 tax and it's only 92 months. It's quite good. I guess the ones, the darker, or the darker they are, the easier they are to core or to convert. So I guess we want to make them. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of these things are really easy to convert, so... Let's convert them. 17, like, that's nothing. I want to I wanna convert as many provinces as possible. Just to reduce the revolt risk in general. Of course, we're still going to have those major provinces that are going to... Um, oh, colony self-sustaining. Need to make sure we core it. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, colony map mode. Um, yeah, we have a colony to sp colonist to spare, so we need to make sure we use him for something. Uh, this one maybe? Yeah, let's do this one. Nice province with one base tax. Perfect. 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 Oh, muscly Muslim rebels. That's pretty cool. Uh, declared war. That's nice. That's going to be punishment for the Chaktai for being such douchebags against me. We keep losing prestige, we keep gaining it from occupying all these provinces, so it's not a problem actually. Not a problem at all. Rewarding his followers, that's nice and fine I guess. By the way, what's the situation in the Nogai Horde land? they put any troops in here yet? No, they haven't. Interesting, even though we are fighting. I, s that's, I think that's the main thing I would like for this game to change. The fact that you are not allowed to do separate peace terms with, um, with coalition members. That should... I think especially when you specifically attack a nation, then you should be allowed to sue for peace with it and gain your goals or whatever. Especially when you use the Casus Belli as I did, which was the show superiority Casus Belli. Which is really not bound to, um... It's not bound to anything specific, it's not like, um... It's not a specific cast of spell, it's just a random cast of spell because we are a horde. It's just a part of the game. Tea party, oh no! Well, I can party all day, party all they want with tea, that sounds like a good thing. Maybe Buddhists don't like to drink alcohol. And by the way, I'm not stupid, I know what that is a reference to. I'm just joking, but it's not funny because I'm so frustrated and as a result, I... Yeah. Ooh, I can get more... More of this stuff. Mercenary costs. That's so useless. Let's save, a little, save up a little bit more points before we go in and take that technology. Come on! Oh man, should I do the to dangerous trip between um, march through all these zealot control land and try and reach this little chunk of territory over there? I feel like I should. Nope, I should not. <laughs> Here they come. Oh wow, they're moving into other places as well. As long as they get... Oh no, they're not. They're just going over there. That's fine. Uh, I, I have nothing against these Muslim rebels. If they want to have... I don't know. They can do what they want. As long as I get to kill my one and only enemy. You better reward their followers. Anybody who joins the war against the fucking Sean. I am going to declare them a, a an enemy of the world, you know. I excommunicate them from the Buddhist faith. I don't know. I don't even know. She should stop raging and start playing. Try to solve the problems rather than complaining about them. One and somewhere somehow. Oh, look at yeah, interesting stuff going on in Europe. Not that I care, but something is going on. That for that's for sure. Hey, we converted someone. Finally, some good news. Let's convert some more people. Missionary map mode. How about these guys? Yeah, look at that. Barely. Oh, do we have any troops over here? I don't think we have. Yes, we do. So I, I don't want to start converting these guys before I um, have any guys guys over there because the Muslims they are known to hate being converted. No, oh, I have no uh, no advisor for diploma diplomatic points. Let's go just grab some random guy like this guy. Sure, whatever. Siege of something is over. Okay. Oh crap! I lost the siege over here. Guess I'll need to resiege it then. 
Huh? I'm losing a lot of war score from... <laughs> we have soon reached the war goal, I think. No, we haven't. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, the fact that they occupy our stuff is really not good for our war score, I think, so... Split a split of a siege there, and then you guys go over here, and split another siege, and then you go there. That should help out with the situation. Nope, some guys over here that needs to die. It's fine. I wanna I wanna get 100% against the um, military technology cost. Yeah, we're not gonna be investing in that for a while. Oh, archery versus muskets until the death. Okay, musket or bow. Uh, an argument has broke broken out in court over the importance importance of musket compared to the traditional archery regiments with. Hopes of convincing Khan Sutai in the first that their role in the army is not becoming obsolete. A group of veteran archers have put on an impressive demonstration. The great skill and accuracy was admired by many who were present. Uh, it's time for these old men to retire. How? I haven't really paid attention to my um, army tradition. It's quite high, so we should be able to handle that. That is fine. Navarre should collapse very soon now. All of their stuff is occupied by Muslim Sealits. Wouldn't surprise me if they took took it any moment now. There you go, 100%. Call for peace. Yeah, I can understand that. Stuff like that happens when you fight douchebag nations like this. Should I take... I don't even know what I should do in this war. I know what I want, but I know what I can't have. God, this is so dumb. Why why can't I I should leader may not demand peace. Can I no I can't I don't even know. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wanna I, I guess I just wanna you know weaken them to the point where they it's not not gonna pose too much of a threat to me anymore, or weaken them to the point where they hopefully won't become the war leader next time around. That wouldn't, that wouldn't, that wouldn't give me that much of an extension actually. Something like that. Of course, then I have to spend all my points on... Um, but I guess, I don't know, should I just do a little bit of a conquest here, just for old time's sake? I have a feeling that... Oh, I have a feeling it might be good I Oh, I guess I could take whatever provinces I have a claim on. But nothing else, though. Kachi, I have a claim on that, so I might as well take it. Other than that, I think I'm going to focus on releasing nations from them. Uh, Assam sounds like a good idea. Bengal. Excuse me, no, oh, let's do them instead. And then these guys. So, oh. well, so many people have course on this stuff up there. Funny. Guess we uh, maybe we want to do it like that. I don't even know. Char. Well, that wouldn't make much sense. Quarch. Nope. No logic there. Arkan. Literally have. Arkan would be a good one, I guess. Garrat. No, no need for that. So deal not. Let's not do that. Uh, who else? It's only all these nations up here. I don't know what that's all about. I guess I wouldn't want to do Bengal then, instead of the um, Assam. Nope. Um. Coach, can't afford any of it. I guess I'm just going to take in all the problems from them just to fill. No, I guess I can't afford that. Ooh, is that so? I guess this is as good as it gets for now. What else can I make it do? Revoke your course on my stuff. Nope, not they're not willing. Treaties. Ah, oh, whatever. Give me money. Money. Do like this. That should teach them to not mess around in my wars. Send the demands, and there we go. We have gained conquests. Navarre's left. Yeah, you better leave, you shits. <laughs> Are they Muslim now? Uh, nope, they're still... Wow, that makes like no sense. They just had a huge revolt with the Muslims, and they didn't actually become Muslims. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and start coring up our new stuff. By the way, uh, we don't have a truce with these guys, do we? No, we don't. A bunch of people are allied to them, though, so... Who are they directly allied to? 
Who's who? Anybody allied to Ayutthaya that I can? Long Shang. So maybe I would want to go against them. To take whatever. Show superiority. Breaking a truce? What? What? Did I just fight you? I guess I did. Oh well. Never mind that then. Huh. Okay. Never. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I guess we're not doing that then, are we? Um, I could. How much my overextension like? It's not that high. I can always handle a little bit more. I have a claim on this province, so I guess I want to make sure I go ahead and take that. I can declare war on them, and it's not going to be giving me truce breaker, I believe. So, uh, ooh, I have technology to invest in and stuff, and yeah. Or I believe I do want to save my points though, don't I? For coring and all that. So I'm going to save them for now. It's not like big advance I'm going to be able to do anyway, so only this useless, terrible, absolutely piece of shit technology. <laughs> Sorry for being so angry right now, but I'm just so frustrated that, that my plan failed, basically. And I was not able to do what I wanted to do. You, I mean, that's never, never fun when that happens, you know. Ooh, Japan is united, that's pretty cool. Can we be allies? Nope, we cannot. We cannot. So yeah, let's declare war on the Chinese. Just for... Just because I have to have something to do. Show the priority. Uh, so now we're doing this again. Taivet, Sukutai... Hmm. Let me think. So who... So this is interesting. A bunch of nations chose to not join. For example, no guy. Even though they are in the coalition, they just didn't join. I don't know. I'm just. I'm, this is. I'm, I'm going to let these troops just hang out in permanently in the Shan capital. These troops as well. I'm just going to let them chill there for forever or whatever, just to fucking prevent the um, any future bullshit like I just experienced, or so that I can immediately start fucking them over if they dare doing some of that crap again. So we are now fighting the Vietnamese and the Chinese mainly. So let's go ahead and deal with that. Shouldn't be too difficult. Fur, nice. Fur is valuable. Um, I have revolt. Kachin. Yeah, the Muslims don't like being converted. I've learned that by now. Should probably build some buildings, but I want to save my points though. You know, it's technology. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that expensive to buy the or to enforce my demands against the Chinese. We should be able to get the. Uh, oh, I have too many relations. Am I guaranteeing someone I shouldn't be guaranteeing? Yeah, I am guaranteeing. I just released a bunch of nations. Uh, look at that, they're actually... Bengal is now Hindu. So I want to make sure I do revoke my guarantees on these derps that I just released. No diplomats. Although we have a bunch of them. Okay, so that's good. I should probably place some troops over there. It's only a question of time before they revolt. But for now, I'm just gonna do some sieging and some stuff and things, and yeah. These guys can go like so. And then this army with no leader. Why no leader? Where's the leader? Got right, the leader. He's here. Uh, I can get him away, though, so that's nice. Put him here instead. And then we'll go and kill them. Nope, we'll not. We'll just not kill them. There we go, now we can kill them. Yay, now you go there. Oh. Oh! No, 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 no. Claim guarantee! Fuck, why didn't I... Oh, my God. If they get conquered now, I'm gonna be so frustrated. You don't even know. Hey, can I just... Don't fight them. Enforce peace. Why not? Invalid targets, okay. I don't know what that's. Well, I don't know why it's invalid, but fair enough. Game, if you're gonna, if you if you say so. It's not like I have a choice. Diplomat has arrived. Good. We just have to hope then that Arke is not going to do anything stupid. Dishonorable scum. It's the big thing here. 
I have a feeling they might conquer something, but I hope they're not going to be conquering everything. That would be very bad. And keep a close on. If, I, if they do that, then I... Oh, the Ayutthaya just gained this place. That's interesting. Oh, then I actually want to make sure... I want to hope that they actually take something, because... Um, I could claim their capital, but only that if I wanted to take it. I don't have a claim for it, though, so I'm not going to do it. But anyways, uh, so I want to... I, I guess I want to hope that they actually take some land. Yeah, look at that. They have also annexed Sukhothai. What the fuck? Ayataya, why are you so crazy? So I guess I, if I were to want to, if I were to go against them again, I would have to do another war. Oh my god! It's pretty hilarious that it's a lot more difficult to take this area than it was to take fucking China. You know, doesn't make perfect sense, but I guess that's just how things are. Now give me your money. I know your treaties. Become a vassal. Yeah, that's yeah. I like. If I don't take the promise, will you still accept becoming a vassal? Nope, you will not. I don't have much of a choice then. I can't make them a vassal, but I guess that's a good thing for later, making them a vassal. Although they're most likely not going to be ever willing to accept my... Chi. No, that wouldn't make much sense. Revoke your cores on my stuff. That's what I want them to do. So money, that stuff, and they will give me the province. Send the demands. Aggressive expansion, that's fine. Let's get a core here. Uh, so now I guess I can afford going and increasing my ideas, even though it's a useless piece of shit. But that's just how things are. That's just how it is. That's how it's going to be. So now we are looking a little bit more united. Now they only have this province here, and we will pretty much control like the central area. Then they will only have these like coastal places, which are not that bad. Oh, get these guys out of there. Yeah, I'm not giving up. It's so sad because I like if I if this hadn't if if the if this coalition stuff wasn't going on, then what I could have done in the meantime, I could have like gone into like uh, Kazakh and Chagta and started vassalizing and fuck these fucking these guys up. But because of the way the game works, that is not a possible thing to do, because since they're all coalitioned, I gain truces with all of them whenever I fight wars. Which is annoying, but uh, what are you gonna do? Did you finish your war? Nope, you're still fighting. Um, Persia now controls this. Interesting. Persia's really becoming quite powerful. It's pretty cool. Uh, we came, decided to rebel. I <laughs> know I didn't pronounce that correctly, but you get the idea. I've, just, I've sort of given up on pronouncing these kinds of things. Oh yeah, oh, they just annexed them. Wow, go Timrids. It's a um, fair thing to do, I guess. Oh, military. Nope. Oh, I'm just gonna immediately uh, reject that. I don't really see that happening, you know. I really don't. It's kind of funny. AK is sort of slowly but surely taking over the role that Ayutthaya had. They're just conquering all the stuff. As long as they don't annex them or make them a vassal, then I'm happy. Hey, we converted someone. Yes. Awesome. Buddhist. Cool. Should we do the last ones as well? I don't know, man. I kind of want to... I don't know. Having a Muslim presence in this area is something we're just going to have to live with. I would much prefer to just... St firmly established China, so, or stabilized China. It's gonna take that long. Anyone like super fast? I like those super fast ones. They, they are really cool. Like uh, Hey Bay, for example. Twenty, twenty-one. That's really, really good. These promises, though. Twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four. Yeah, this one is pretty much the lowest. Twenty-one. So let's do that. We also have a bunch of troops there, so that's always nice. Nice indeed. How are we doing on colonization, by the way? Uh, we are colonizing only two provinces right now. I want to do some more. I want to. I want it to be a little bit more than that. That's a little slow, in my opinion. So we'll recall. This guy can hang out over there. I need to make sure that one finishes. But this guy can be recalled. And we lose the ability or lose money. Of course, lose the money. I need to readjust my economy a tiny bit, don't I? Get back in the green. Uh, let's take, even though this is expensive, I feel like it's necessary to sort of clean up the borders a little bit. To take down one. 
Like that, I really like our borders now, the way they're just spreading northward. Khmer has a civil war, how nice. Prude fortifications, no, fuck the fuck the stuff. I can afford losing some prestige. Kachin. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You go there. I don't know. I kind of want to keep these guys over here. Maybe that'll convince Sean from, you know, joining up any future wars, which would be nice. I mean, they didn't join up in the war against the Zhao that I just fought, so... Maybe there's something to that. I don't know. Shuzu's will expire. Here we go. Ayutaya. 95. Oh, yeah, that's... No, that's forever. It's like three years in-game. Not good. Uh, claim on Yunnan. Okay. I guess that's a fine little claim to have. For future wars. Future annexations and that kind of stuff. Over extension. Yeah, it's getting quite bad. No, it's going to slightly improve. We have a bunch... Three provinces that are really close to coring up. So we'll make sure that happens. Uh... Oh, we actually now we're really getting close to nine or fifteen or sixty the sixteen hundreds. That's pretty cool. What are we going to do in the meantime? Hey, core provinces. Yes, that is very nice. Improves both taxes and reduces overextension. You know, all of that nice stuff. Very good. A bunch of these provinces that we don't have cores on yet, but that's fine. Yeah, we are coring this stuff, so... And they have... No guy has a claim on that. Wow. Uralic Patriots. Really, that's a thing. I wonder what nation, nation is going to pop up if they win. What's the culture of these guys? Yeah, they are Uralic, so they're going to become a part of Perm. It's pretty cool, the fact that they're... I didn't know these guys were Uralic. That the fact that... So these guys are going to... Um, so they're... Yeah, I... Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, colony sales is staining. That's good. I want to make sure we make... Oh, what the f... Why? Base cost, 110. Have I misunderstood something? Oh, well, I want to make sure I core it, but still, that's so expensive. Whoa. Well, that is crazy. Oh, well. That place is finished. Now we can go in and make ourselves a new colony. Let's make this one. Send. Then we will um, colonize all of Siberia. It shall all become a glorious part of the horde. There we go. Our name, our name, sort of changed position a tiny bit. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, hey, free power. Good. Very nice. Oh, they just took something. I think I don't know. Go away, Timrids. Yay, more mil- Wow, I, I keep having so much military technology, seriously. I keep on getting- I'm not complaining, of course it's a good thing to advance it, but still. If I only earn points, or if- Yeah, I really think they should balance it a little bit out. Uh, there's so few things you actually need military power for. And there's so many things you need, um... Administrative power for. I guess this game has some room for improvement. Removing bullshit and improving- or ba and balancing the point system. Both of, them, both of those things are legitimate things, in my opinion. Chamber demi cannons. Sure. Let's make, make them. Castle's belly. They haven't insulted us. I am, I'm sure they have. And they are going to keep doing that for as long as I can think. Uh, let's do finish up North Korea. Right, stabilize that area because they're not an accepted culture. We never did gain Cantonese as an accepted culture, did we? Now, guess we didn't. Oh well, core province, yay! Good, good, good. Now, I'm still waiting here for the Ayutians. I mean, the Achaeans. Why are you not enforcing your demands against the um, against the uh, the night old rights or lose oh, fuck my legitimacy? It's gonna go away once I die anyways. Hey, you freeze the ability. Oh, well, I guess I should have taken that thing then. It's gonna gain our ability. It's very nice. 
I'm just gonna improve even further, improve our um, our conversion rates, which is nice. So yeah, I can see that it only takes like two years to convert now. It's a lot more than like you know that God knows how long it took before. But this is kind of worrying me though. I really don't like the fact that um, Ake Ake here is not actually doing anything. They're just sitting. They're just they're, quite literally. They're they're doing nothing to try and. Um, to help out the situation here. They're just sitting around. They're not actually... Grain will be reduced. Didn't know they really... It was possible to grow too much grain up in northern Siberia, but... I guess it's not the far northern Siberia. It's not that... It's not bad, that bad of a place. I guess there's a reason why they are represented it. I mean, there's a decent chunk of people living here today, isn't there? Like Russians and crap. Especially down in the southern. Like around in Irkutsk, there's a decent city, I think. Yeah, I believe the city itself is called Irkutsk. Although, once again, I shouldn't be talking about those kinds of things, as if I actually un know what I'm talking about, but uh, it's still interesting. Hey, we discovered... Oh, we discovered Europe! Hey! Oh, I guess we can take a look here. No, let's take a look in the next episode. I want to focus over here for now. So I would like to do... Uh, I want to fight Ayutthaya one more time before this um, episode's end. I know I should probably postpone it, but um, I really, really want to do it. Hey, we're going to get Scientific Revolution! Let's get that right straight away. Horde ideas advance, nice. Um, innovative ideas, and we also get less ma- Oh, that's actually really good. Makes our stuff. Uh, war is harder on horses than on than it is on men. We need to ensure that our fearsome cavalry are well mounted. We must ensure that we have enough horses at all times to keep our armies strong, and do so cheaply. Indeed, we must. What's the next thing? Step leaders. Yeah, indeed, that's good. A lot of good stuff. I like it. Let's keep going. So yeah, Taya just took that. Okay. Still nothing that matters to me, but lost the claim. Okay. That's fine. Kachin. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure you can join. For once, I'm gonna be kind against those people who ask me. Another revolt. Seriously. Calm down. You're not gaining anything from these revolts you are doing against me. Claim on Kentung. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's only that idea. Never mind that then. Never mind. It's not important. Uh, I don't care for it. Care for one thing, and that is. Oh, we no longer have a truce with Ayataya. Fuck yeah, let's go to war. I pr pr should probably postpone it though, shouldn't I? Yeah, strictly speaking, I should be postponing it. And maybe I want to think it a little bit more through before I do it. I mean, I do want to make sure that I am able to vassalize them this time around. Because Ake is not enforcing their demands for some reason. They're just sitting on the territories, and they've been doing that for a couple of years now. I guess it's maybe because they can't reach these other territories that they want, but still, that's... It is silly. Increased coring costs, what? It's a national tradition. What? Maybe that's why this one's so expensive. Or I know that wasn't too expensive. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. National traditions of Daivet. Huh. Fascinating. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Fail. Um, yeah, I, I it wasn't too much of a Let's Fail. It was a Let's bullshit or Let's um uh, in Let's. I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. Let's just go for the classic one. Let's play. Yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4. And uh, as the Oirator, of course. And until next time, bye.